Oh, okay, I'll just look for it then. Okay, so we have two thirds plus one third times two and a half plus a half all squared. Um, the trick is to follow PEMDAS and just do things step by step and take your time. You guys can do all of this. Um, just try it. Don't try to do it all in one go and don't make some of the fatal mistakes. Okay, so if you follow PEMDAS and you do it step by step, you'll get the right answer. Um, if you don't follow PEMDAS, you might want to do things like add the two and a third plus one third to get three thirds. Okay, now that is wrong. Do you guys understand why that's wrong? So if you turn that into three thirds and got to there, that's wrong. Does anyone know why? No. Right. So that's adding first. So if we're following the order of operations, adding comes down at the end, doesn't it? But yeah. we need to deal with our parentheses and exponents at the beginning. That makes sense now? Yeah. So we've got to deal with what's inside the parentheses and with our exponent at the beginning. And we'll deal with the adding later on. So that's why you can't add these guys to get three thirds. That'll give you the wrong answer, right? That's probably the most common mistake. So we've got to start by... Um, dealing with what's inside the parentheses. We have two and a half plus a half. We've got to add those guys together. That's the place to start. Two times two is four, and four plus one is five. That's five over two plus one over two, which makes six over two, right? So in, inside here, two and a half and a half is, is six over two, or just three, isn't it? So we have this. So I want you all to write this out, two-thirds plus a third times three squared. Let me know if that makes sense or not. We just took the two and a half, and we added a half, and we got three. And that was our first step. And we did that because we got to do parentheses first. And let me know if you have any questions on that. That's the most important thing, that first step. Are we okay with that? Yeah. So what should we do next? Add, multiply, or exponents? Right. Again, following parenthes uh, PEMDAS, we got our parentheses done first. That's good. Um, and now we're going to do exponents. Now, the exponent, by the way, is just touching the three. It's not touching the third. We have an exponent on the 3. And that's just going to make 3 times 3, okay? Which is not 6. 3 times 3 is? 9. 9, yeah. So now we have dealt with exponents. Exponents are done. Now, does that make sense? Yeah. So we did parentheses, then we did exponents, and now what should we do next? Add or multiply? Multiply. Right. Still tempting to just add these together and make three over three, isn't it? But you have to resist that. You've got to multiply. You've got to follow PEMDAS. So nine, nine over one. So this becomes one third times 9 over 1, which is just 9 over 3, or 3. But we can cross-cancel, I guess. 3 into 3 goes 1, 3 into 9 goes 3 times. But this guy should basically become 3. So you, you need to have, you know, 2 thirds plus 3. Let me know if that makes sense. A third of 9 is 3, right? We okay to there? Yeah. All right. 
Um, and two thirds and three, by the way, is just this. Three and two thirds. We're done. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's just three and two thirds, isn't it? Right? 